All right. <laughs> the look goes as follows. Oh. Uh, gosh, I've been feeling that for, for about six, four years now, just like <laughs> an evil witch still. Um, that was another music video that I did. Um, that was me still like paranoid in quarantine, like locked up. I did that myself and then sent it to my friends to edit. Uh -huh. It was wonderful. You must have been doing, you, you seem like you're such a showgirl that not being in front of an audience must have been tough. Um, it hurt. It hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt. I love it. I love to be adored and coddled. It's, it's, a, it's the thing that helps and hurts me the most for this drag world. But I managed to look inside the camera and try to like reach out to everybody. But I, was, I could not stop as soon as we got locked down. I was immediately just like jumping on any drag show just to feel of purpose to, yeah. to have something to wake up to. Um, and it was great, especially when that uh, stimulus check hit and everybody was very generous yes, with their Venmo. That is Thank beautiful. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, okay, we have one last look goes as follows. Oh, oh yes. this is a different look. It's different for me. Well, and. Uh, I mean, the lips, right? Like, uh -huh. it's, it's lip forward. Lip forward. <laughs> uh, very and, Gucci. And bang, banging, right? I was yeah. feeling very crazy horse, you know? Um, yeah, we just, that was an impromptu photo shoot, once again, during, during that video shoot, so. Fantastic. Find ways to make content. Honey, you're doing it. all doing like, in it. one and then like release it for a month. <laughs> I think you're doing stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, we do have actually have one more and this one is body, yaddy, yaddy. The look goes as follows. Uh, honey, oh. this is another quarantine spectacular? No, actually that was uh, pre-COVID. Okay. That was during, oh gosh, that was like right when I moved, I think. Mm. Um, I wasn't working at anywhere. Um, no one knew who Miss Continental was. Right. I, I, I didn't really know anyone. And I believe um, Ray Latre gave me like a, a booking at her Abbey show. And I kind of met um, some people there. But then I went and I worked at Rasputin one night. And like, that isn't even there anymore um, across the street. We were doing Seven Deadly Sins and I was a vanity. So I crushed up some mirrors and spray painted a frame. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and then I got like a, a go-go dancing job at the Abbey because of that. Because I was like, looked really good naked. So they're like, let's hire her. I remember Murray was telling people to hire me and immediately, that's how I cut my, kind of got my leg in to doing the drag shows. Because once people saw me perform on a little box, they're like, can we give her more room? Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. a spotlight please? Yes. <laughs> uh, honey, I mean, you certainly know how to put on a show. Oh God. Like, this doesn't turn off. Yeah, I love it. I mean, and you Zosky. really became like the lady of the Abbey, too. Once you got in there, you were the girl. Oh, yeah, I planted, I planted in there. Yeah, you weren't getting rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now, Sasha, honey, it's time to get into it. Get into it. Get into it. We got to talk all about what it took to grab the crown at Miss Continental, honey. Oh, that, yeah. I mean, and like you said just a minute ago, that no one knew Miss Continental. If you don't know Miss Continental, <laughs> you need to get into it. Know your because history. Because <laughs> there's so much to appreciate and love. Um, Tell me about how you first became aware of it and the beginnings of that whole process. Yeah, uh, let's see. I remember when I first started doing drag, my drag mother, she had talked, like, Hawaii was very um, into Miss Continental. Like, the drag scene knew all the, the formers, and they had, like, this, like, fascination with, you know, just beautiful uh, drag. It was just, like, a, a beauty pageant. Talent, evening gown, swimsuit, question answer. Um, you have to uh, be talented, look presentable, you don't have to be beautiful, you just know how to present yourself in the best way you can, and you have to have something to say. So that's pretty much um, probably the things you probably need in life, <laughs> yeah. you know? Just to, so pageants were always just something that loved to shape me and kind of like give me a, um, I guess like a goal or like a focus on. So I really was drawn to it and I loved like the beauty and I loved the competition. So I decided to run uh, Miss Hawaii Continental when they had a prelim, and I 
surprisingly won. I, it was tw I was 21 years old. No one really knew who I was in Hawaii, so it was pretty kind of like, oh, the little underdog won. Uh -huh. uh, went to Miss Continental that year in 2005, and um, I got fifth place out of like 30-something contestants, which was pretty amazing for... Uh, it, has, it wasn't very... Um, normal for someone who just started to play so high. Yeah, exactly, because that's a extremely competitive group. Yeah, like, yeah and the, the girls I was with were you know, seasoned entertainers that are fan favorites, so it was really cool to be a fly on that wall and to get um, a, like a little taste of it. And once you got the taste, it's like, I'm bitten, I'm, I'm trying, I'm not gonna give up. So you went back a couple times. Yes. Um, the, the first time you rushed, you're like, I'm gonna win I'm it this love time. It. Yeah. Um, it was, it's definitely a, a learning process. I did four times in seven years. I did take a break in between, like a three year break, and everybody was telling me to run again. You should run, you're gonna win. And I'm like, I need to feel like Miss Continental if mm. I'm gonna compete for Miss Continental. I have to already feel like it. So I have to feel secure, I have to have a secure package. So when I go on stage, I'm not thinking about, uh, you know, oh my gosh, my dress doesn't really fit that well. You know, like yeah. I just, for me, I'm that kind of person. So I needed to make sure that everything um, was taken care of so then I can present myself and that ease is what they look for. You know, they look yeah. for the ease and like just the confidence. and. Um, but there's always that magic in that girl that wins, you know, that night. It's, you can't even like, it's, it's so weird to see when you see the girl who's like gonna win, you're like, oh, she's got it. Yeah. She's in it. <laughs> what is the prep for uh, something like that? To get that package together, it, it seems like similar to going to track race. Yeah, for sure. Um, because you also first have to run a prelim. So you have to run a state, um, preliminary when then they sponsor you, you become, like I was Miss Pennsylvania, Premier Continental. Before that I was Miss Hawaii, Miss Continental. So you run that, you qualify, so you kind of do the pageant already in a lower, uh, in a regional sense. Mm. Then you go to the nationals and you compete the first night. It's like a cattle call, swimsuit, evening gown, talent. And they pick the top 12 of that for next for the next night. And then it gets a little more intense and a little more, you know, nitpicky. Um, everyone's allowed to do the same thing. And usually, like, people, I mean, you want to think that you want to go on stage and you want to show, every time you go on stage, you want to show a different side of you, uh, just like Drag Race. Mm -hmm. They get to see you this once, you know, a few times, make it memorable. So you want to give variety. Girls change their gowns first and second night. You know, you change your swimsuits, you change hair. Some say it change talent. Um, it's, it's literally a card game. You have to really, it's, it's all about how to really play these numbers in your favor. You gotta know what you, you also have to know yourself. Yeah. You have to know what you like, what you don't like, what like feels um, true to you, because if you're trying to do some other girl's talent, it's just not gonna work. You know, they need to know why, what makes you special. And this is for like everything, I'm sure for Drag Race too. They wanna see, um, you know, there's already a, a Roxy Andrews. There's already a detox. Like, what makes you special? Why do we want to watch you? So that's always important um, for pageants, for sure. What was your talent, and what was your favorite look from the from your winning night? Oh my gosh, the gown was like incredible. It was a silver liquid beaded gown. It weighed like 20 pounds. Wow. Oh, it was gorgeous. I had. A uh, hundred foxtails wrapped around me. I don't know if I would necessarily do that nowadays. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Sorry, Peta. I got let had by Peta because I did a photo shoot with these foxtails. Oh boy! And they like, I woke up the next morning. I was like horrified. Like it was all like tr like mink trap videos in my comments, and they were like cruel. They were like calling me a dude and everything. Oh wow! And I just called my friend crying. He's like. Well, I mean, PETA only cares about celebrities, so you made it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be faux fur from now on from and faux Misogyny Colby. Yes, yeah, faux fur, faux leather, yes. Humanity. So when you won, you joined uh, a ranks of some very uh, impressive winners that we all know, Miss Candace Kane, uh, Roxy Andrews won Continental Plus, mm -hmm. Nisha Lopez, Brooklyn Heights. Uh, it's really, you become one of the girls in the Hall of Fame, and it's a very prestigious history. It really is, and it's uh, it's always fun to see the girls and to 
it's like a little sorority we have. And even uh, the misters and the plus and the elites, like we all just have this nice family that we really care about each other. We, we really had uh, this hard time during COVID not seeing each other during um, Easter and Labor Day is when we usually have our the pageants, and it was it was kind of sad because we make sure to see each other every year. It's like a you know you just kind of maybe take it for granted. So we all had a Zoom call, which was really great, but like fifty queens on the call. Right. <laughs> we had to be muted quickly. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <muted. laughs> Um, would you ever go back and like help coach another young queen to take the crown or what's your relationship with Miss Continental now? Um, well, I definitely, we, we as sisters, I'm seeing the girls, if, they, if people come up for advice, I'm always willing to give and they do ask for advice. Um, of course, because of course everyone wants to think, but I literally just said what I tell people, I just said it on here. Like, yeah. there isn't a formula, there isn't like a, a special thing, it's literally you. And once you know that, then everyone else will. Um, but that's the magic of Continental. Like, I was able to crown Nasha, and Nasha crowned Brooklyn. So I feel really uh, proud to be able to like hang with those girls too. They're my sisters and to see them achieve success mainstream has been incredible. It's been lovely and like they represent Continental. <laughs> and now we have a picture of you on your winning night. Your beauty, there oh, yeah. she is. She is. Ooh. Honey, yeah. the doll. Is that that dress you're talking about that weighed 20 pounds? Oh no, 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 no. But that was a, that was a pretty dress. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, the crown was great. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Now after you've done so much, you made it through so many different preliminaries and mm -hmm. all of it. You wake up the next morning. What does that next morning feel like? I was so hungry. <laughs> I was <laughs> right. starving. I was cranky. I was literally eating tuna and a boiled egg running. And I just, for some reason, just thought, you know, like, got to get into pageant mode. But it was more so, like, getting your mind in check. Um, but I, I felt so relieved the next morning and ate so much that I did not feel relieved that night. <laughs> <laughs> well, ever since you've moved here to Hollywood, you've done a lot of acting. You've been on Hawaii Five-0. You're really, right now, your focus is on acting. Is that right? It is. It sure is. Um, yeah, just also figuring out in this COVID era, but um, making it work. We're doing a lot of self-tapes, which is really great. Um, trying to find a way to, to shape those like muscles, flexing, trying to take a class here and there. But um, yeah, things are happening and um, it'll be really exciting to see what happens in the future, in the near future. Yes, I mean, it seems like there's a lots of roles opening up right now and that you have, you do have those acting skills, honey. We know it just <laughs> from seeing you perform on stage, but we know you can do that close up acting too. <laughs> yes, a lot of fun and it's always, I've always loved acting um, like, when I was a kid, like watching theater and stuff, and my dance instructor told me, because he would always do this thing where he would uh, kind of pull me out of the lineup when they were dancing and like, oh, just like do like a thing that you do, like freestyle across or like do something up there. And I'd be like, oh, that means I wasn't like clean or doing the choreography right. Maybe they're like, I'll just take her out and put her over there. But she's, he was like, no, you're actually, you're a good dancer, but your, your strength is acting. You know how to like just do that naturally. And I always, try to remember that when I'm nervous about them auditions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a psych out every time. It's, uh, it's, uh, but it's good, I love the excitement. I like um, something different. I haven't felt like this since I started taking dance class and it was something new and you, you were unknown and um, just kind of wanted to soak it all up. Mm -hmm. So enjoying the process. Well, sweetie, there's so much talent for the world to soak up whenever you're on stage. We love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I had such so a good time. So stunning. And honey, you've turned it so fiercely that you have snatched a trophy, sweetie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Miss Continental all over again. You're Miss Hey Queen today. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous, there she is. <laughs> Thank you, of course, to the beautiful Sasha Colby. Thank you to Adam Joseph and Eric Toraviance, Mr. and Mrs. Corner of the Studio. They won that title today. And don't forget, Sasha is going to stick around and play Look at Her, so you don't want to miss that. And we'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Bye, baby.
Go on, camera. Stop waiting for another hair flip. You're going to have to tune in to look up. <laughs> You're welcome.